Hey everyone, it's Nico. I'm back with another video about the DJI NEO. I'm in Miami, Florida at a park called Margaret Pace Park in Edgewater, Miami. Today I'm going to be showing you why I think the DJI NEO is the best Explorer drone on the market. As you saw there in the bottom right hand of the screen, I was using the Ray-Ban Metas to record some of the takeoff footage. Today I'm going to be flying in sport mode. All the settings are automated. This is the 4K unedited footage fresh out of the DJI NEO. As you can see, it's kind of windy. The gimbal is jerking a little bit. The wind is about 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. I'm having a hard time going to the northern end of the park. Here's me flying to the southern end. That's Miami downtown in the background. That's the Venetian Causeway right there to the left. As you can see here, I'm panning up to show the sun. I'm flying directly into the sunlight. There's only a few clouds in the sky. So this video is to show you why I think the DJI NEO is the best Explorer drone. And then I also want people to get a really good understanding of the image quality that you'll see if you buy the DJI NEO and just start flying it. So like I mentioned, none of this is color graded. This is just sport mode footage. Everything is completely automated. As you can see here, I'm fighting the wind. I'm having a tough time um, getting south. Here I am flying over the park. These are some of the tennis courts at the southern end of Margaret Pace Park. And then here I am panning north and going to the northern end of the park. So Margaret Pace Park is a great park in Miami, Florida. Um, it was founded after someone named Margaret Pace, who was a Miami philanthropist uh, dedicated to community welfare. So I'm just going to be flying around this park, showing you all the cool features, and more importantly, just showing you why I think the DJI NEO is the best Explorer drone on the market. I often find myself reaching for this drone. I have a ton of drones, and I love, you know, flying all the different types, but I've noticed that I've been reaching for the DJI NEO a lot, mostly because it's so lightweight, 135 grams. Um, it's really not that loud, although louder than some of the other tiny whoops and cine whoops that I fly. And just the fact that it has a GPS lock makes it so easy to fly. So here I am flying over the basketball court on the northern end of the park. As you can see, you have full control over the gimbal. I believe it's a two axis gimbal. So kind of cooler than a regular um, FPV drone where the axis of the gimbal is usually locked. This one you could at least pan up and pan down with the DJI NEO. Here I am flying around the northern end, ripping it around a palm tree. It's not super windy right now, like I mentioned, about 10 miles per hour with gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Here I am flying back through the basketball court. It's really cool to see all the different, you know, shadows and overcast and kind of the footage you'll expect to see out of the DJI NEO. This park is super cool. There's a bunch of high rises in the background that kind of make it, you know, more or less sunny in certain areas. Here I am flying around, just exploring. I'm gonna hit this little gap on the tree. As you could see here, lining it up and then sending it right through. Once I get over the open water, I feel the wind a little bit more on the DJI Neo. I've been flying the DJI Neo for a few months now and it definitely is not that great in the wind. I would say 10 miles per hour max before you start you know, struggling to being able to move the drone. Obviously the wind is a little bit better over the mainland and you're blocked by a little bit of the, the high rises. Here I am hitting some more gaps. These are the paddle boards that you could rent at Margaret Pace Park. So here I am hitting a little gap right here. So I mentioned in the beginning how I think the DJI NEO is just one of the best Explorer drones on the market and it has to do with the GPS stabilization. So here I am flying over a nice puppy. Somebody's playing a little bit of fetch with their dog. Um, this happens a lot in Margaret Pace Park, super dog friendly. As you can see here, kind of just ripping around. It's a cool little scene. But the reason I think the DJI NEO is the best Explorer drone is because the GPS kind of locks the stabilization and then you fly this like a conventional DJI drone. So it, it is automated and flies just like, you know, the DJI Mini or the DJI Mavic. You have the chance to turn it into a manual mode, 
but this is not manual mode. This is just a regular DJI flight. So the reason I like flying it in the regular mode is because I have the trust of the GPS lock and I don't really have to worry about fighting the wind or doing any type of regular FPV flight. So I love flying FPV, but at the same time, it's kind of risky because there's no GPS lock and you're kind of just at, you know, you're really flying it in manual mode. This one I feel a little bit more safe. So here I am in the middle of the park, kind of just getting a ton of different angles. As you can see, it goes from, you know, the shade back to the sun. Here I am flying out, checking out a couple of the boats and a couple of the yachts out here in Biscayne Bay. Like I mentioned down there to the south, that's the Venetian Causeway and then even more south, that's the MacArthur Causeway. These are some of the yachts that are just docked in Biscayne Bay. I'm struggling a little bit with the wind here. As you can see, sometimes the gimbal gets like a little bit jerky, but overall, I mean, it's a pretty powerful drone given how light it is and how weak the motors are. I know that this drone is more for people who just are trying to get into drone flying. It's cheap. It has a ton of automated features. You don't really need a remote control. But, you know, as a professional drone pilot, I have a ton of fun ripping this drone around. As you can see here, I got a little wind gust and it kind of threw me off balance. But here I am kind of just hugging the, the seawall line, panning up a little bit, seeing if I could get some unique images. There's the Ray-Ban meta footage in the bottom right. I'm going to be pulling up on myself in a little bit. There I am. Or if you could see me yet. So, yep, there I am. Just ripping the drone around. I'm fighting the wind a little bit here, probably going about only 10, 12 miles per hour in sport mode. There I am with my rad power bike. I have the Ray-Ban meta footage in the bottom right. You can see I'll pan around myself here and then head back out. So this is kind of just the perfect drone to be able to explore a park like this. Don't have to wear any of the FPV goggles. I feel super safe. Here I am fighting the wind really hard. The gimbal is super jerky. I know the water doesn't look like it's too windy, but sometimes, you know, the waves in the water could be misleading depending on the direction of the wind. So. Like I mentioned, about 15 to 20 mile per hour gusts. I was kind of fighting it here pretty hard. Here I am going around the northern end of the park. I really love Margaret Pace Park. It's kind of like a super unique park in Miami. One of the few Biscayne Bay parks right on the water. You have beautiful views of the Venetian Isles, the Julia, Cuddle, or the Julia Tuttle Causeway in the north. And it's really just like a fun park. As you know, there's a basketball court, there's tennis courts, there's a huge dog park in the middle, and then it's just surrounded by all of these condos. Um, a lot of young professionals and, you know, people moving from different parts of the country. Um, it's a really great city. Always people playing basketball out here. So here I am with the Neo kind of just hovering. I have the gimbal panned almost all the way directly down. So that's another thing I love about this drone is it, it really is a true hybrid hybrid drone because you know you're it's small enough and it has that FPV feel but at the same time you could just use it as a you know a regular like drone and another reason why I love it obviously is because it has the gimbal guards it's super lightweight under 250 grams so a lot of the you know the registration stuff and kind of the FAA laws, the fact that it's under 250 grams and it has prop guards categorizes it as a category one drone, which is legal to fly over people. So that's why I'm ripping it around here and Margaret Pace Park kind of flew up a little bit high here, definitely getting a little bit of the wind. I'm panning to, this is the northern end of the park. See, there's a huge grass open field for people, you know, to play football, soccer. People are always hanging out with their dogs around here. And then here I am flying back over to the basketball court. I was really struggling with the wind higher up. And then here I am trying to fight the wind to get down a little bit. So here I am, I'm finally at like a decent level. 
I'm going forward. I could feel that there's definitely less wind. I'm gonna try to get closer to one of these basketball hoops. So here I am panning around one of the hoops here at the Margaret Pace Park courts. And then taking off here more to the north. As you can see here, I could pan the gimbal up a little bit to kind of see where I'm at and then kind of just continue to explore. So like I mentioned, this is just the greatest explorer drone because if you want, you could just put the controller down right here and the, the drone will hover. Um, the battery life is decent on the drone. It's about anywhere, if I'm flying it in sport mode with the wind, anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes, which isn't great, but you know, you can have a couple extra batteries on you. They're super easy to swap in and out. The fact that the drone is so tiny, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes with a drone like this actually isn't that bad. Like I mentioned, especially for the weight. So here I am riding around the park. Here's some volleyball courts over here at the southern end. It's really just a great park to kind of just explore and hang out. Like I mentioned, the DJI Neo, it's not super quiet, but it's also not super, super loud like the DJI Avada 1. Here I am still exploring. I'm around about 12 minutes of flight, 11 minutes of flight. I'm starting to get like a low battery warning. Here's the Ray-Ban meta footage in the bottom right. As you can see here, trying to struggle in with the wind a little bit, trying to hit these gaps on the tree and then sending it back to land. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm a doctor here in Miami, but I love flying drones as a hobby, trying to make as many you know drone videos as I can. So join me again next time. Fun flight with the DJI Neo. Thanks for watching.